In our Health Watch report, some experts say some respiratory symptoms you thought were due to a cold might really be something else. Local 3's Shelly Botat has more. Do you feel congested or struggle with a scratchy hoarse throat? Your troubles may not be in your lungs. Medical experts are starting to look at the stomach as the culprit. I'm just going to have you breathe in through your nose. Susan Howard is a registered nurse and volunteer teacher who gradually started having trouble in front of a large class. I'd lose my voice and I'd say, just bear with me, I do this. <laughs> Lisa Smelkinson's symptoms appeared suddenly and they were tough to ignore. I remember distinctly having lunch with a friend and coming home and coughing to the point of almost vomiting. Both women were treated for months for what doctors thought were colds, allergies, or asthma until they visited Dr. Jamie Kaufman. The problem with the idea that it's asthma or a cold is the symptoms don't go away. And even after the asthma is treated, they continue to have symptoms. Chin up, shoulders down. Dr. Kaufman says with silent reflux, neither the lower valve and upper valve is working right. So it's in the stomach, it's in the esophagus, it's in the throat, and it sits there at night. If you reflux at night, and it sits in a puddle back here. Dr. Kaufman says if you have trouble breathing in but not out, the problem could be reflux. She says the number one risk factor is eating too much right before bed. Sleep on a 45 degree incline. Leave four hours between your last meal in bed and avoid junk food, soda, and chocolate milk. No physician had ever said to me it's dietary related. I tell them you won't need me after a year. For many patients, lifestyle changes help make this the last stop in a long search for better health. Both Lisa Smelkinson and Susan Howard say their symptoms have significantly decreased since they made dietary changes. Dr. Kaufman says for some patients, certain medications called H2 antagonists like Pepsid or Zantac are also safe and effective. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Shelley Botel, Local 3 News.